Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is an astrology karma reading for you Pisces. Now this is a new type of reading that I'm doing for this video, and this is bringing in more astrology to the reading. And I've been working with these karma cards and it's really fascinating how accurate they can be. Usually you ask a specific question and how to proceed or a question in regards to the outcome. But since this is a general reading for my Pisces family, I asked in general, what will be the karma and outcome for my Pisces family? In other words, what is the energy surrounding Pisces at this time? And your cards are indicating your energy is Neptune in Taurus in the 10th house. Well, I know what this is all about. Okay. So starting with your first card, Neptune represents intuition and psychic abilities and spiritual awareness and dreams right up your alley, Pisces. And Neptune's message with this card is there's more to the reality of your being than meets your eye. And the world of your dreams is as real as any other. Now the warning with this card is if you put your faith only in the world of your senses, you will always know a hunger that cannot be satisfied. As the ocean dissolves the beach beneath your feet, it will show you that your fine castles and all inside them are made of sand. Now moving on to your second card, being in Taurus. Like the planet Earth, Taurus is productive, strong, dependable, practical. And this card shows the oxen to indicate how by harnessing the oxen to plow the earth. Everything is planned out. Taurus functions best through concentration and stubborn adherence to a preconceived plan. Now moving on to your third card, Pisces, in the 10th house. Now the 10th house is up at the top of the horoscope and the 10th house rules the career this is recognition, respect from the general public and especially from those who you respect, Pisces. The 10th house is where you are going, your life goals, your career. And it concerns figures of authority in general and your father in particular. So Neptune in Taurus in the 10th house message is in regards to possibly your intuitive nature, Pisces. And with your second card in Taurus, this can be a preconceived plan of how you're going to go about achieving what you want in your career. Now, going back to the general question, the outcome of a situation, we look at three possible levels for you, Pisces. And I will pull this in closer in a moment, but the first level here, the S represents spiritually, what is best for the nurturing of your soul. The M here represents mentally, what is best for the nurturing of your intellect. And the P here represents physically, what is best for the nurturing of your bodily needs. And this will be different for everyone. So I'm just going to pull this in now because these cards are bigger than... You can see right here, they're bigger than the average tarot card. And I want you to see the message on them because that's what these karma cards are all about. Okay, so this is the possible scenarios for you with this reading and to give you an answer for a possible outcome. And the answer that you'll relate to Pisces will either be spiritual, mental, or physical. Now, spiritually, the message is the idealization of resources to maintain your destiny. Now, mentally, the message is 
confusion regarding the practicality of where you're going. And physically, the message is sacrifice resulting from the productivity of your career. So one of those three levels will make sense to you, Pisces. Now, let me turn the cards so that the messages will give you what you should do about a situation. And these are same cards, but now possible solutions. I like to do the outcome first because if you don't like the outcome you're seeing, then you can really examine here what to do. Okay, so spiritually, the message is inspire others with your beliefs responsibly. Mentally, the message is be prepared to sacrifice for the cost of success. That's a big message right there, Pisces. And physically, the message is yielding is the only way to use the most direct way and become a person of power and status. So one of those three levels of answers should make sense to you, Pisces, and help you out. And remember, this is all in regards to Neptune in Taurus in the 10th house. Now, I also pulled a crystal oracle card to see what crystal will benefit you in regards to this reading. So let me pull that back again. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And you have rutilated quartz. Your angels and guides have suggested this crystal to remind you how important your home environment is. Especially with the old saying, home is where the heart is. So your angels and guides are wanting you to focus your attention on your home and where you live. Asking yourself, are you happy with where you live? And if you're not happy, why aren't you happy? Can you change something in your home or redecorate? Or would you like to move homes? Now, one of the reasons your angels and guides are suggesting this quartz crystal is because of your karma cards here. They are all very strongly in regards to your career. And you really need to have a nice place to come home to. So you can just relax and rest and decompress from your job or career. Making sure you have this crystal in your home environment and possibly changing things up from time to time or adding something new to your home environment, that will change up the energy and clear out the old stagnant energy. Now, this quartz is associated with your root chakra, and that's your base. So you need a nice base to come home to, Pisces. So ask yourself if you're happy with your home and where you live, or think about maybe moving to someplace new that you would prefer. Now, I also pulled an overall energy card for your reading, Pisces. And you have the Three of Wands. Well, I'm not surprised, Pisces, that you received the Three of Wands for your overall energy, because this is about long-term plans, having foresight, something you're good at, launching plans, setting things in motion, so with your intuitive and instinctive spiritual guidance, this card here as your overall energy is indicating that decisions have been made. And now you're taking your steps towards your goals. And these are career goals. You're setting things in motion and now there's no turning back. This is very strong karma cards here. And you really feel confident, Pisces, because you know what you need to do and you have the confidence to do it. And for some of you, this is involving the ability to lead and a vision that can inspire others. Now, for some of you, this might be suggesting travel. 
maybe some long distance travel. And that's why your angels and guides have suggested rutilated quartz so that you have a nice, comfortable home to come back to. And your karma cards here are very strong cards into putting all your time and focus and energy into your work, your job, your career. So it's important to have a very comfortable and welcoming place for you to come home to after a long, hard day. Now, the Three of Wands is an excellent energy in regards to your career. It's a very independent and adventurous, creative energy backed up by the sun. And that's your personal drive right there, Pisces. And the number three energy of this card is indicating things are coming together for you, Pisces, to create something new. This is creative success and a very positive energy. And three is the number of the navel chakra, which corresponds with your action, your choice, and your will, and all of which ties into this reading. So for you, Pisces, your karma reading is all about using your intuition in the most practical, pre-planned way to achieve what you want out of your career. And your angels and guides are suggesting rotolated quartz to bring into your home to make you think about what it is you want in your home. Where do you want to live? And your overall energy is indicating launching of long-term plans. So this is a wonderful reading for you, Pisces. You're such an intuitive sign, so you know exactly what to do and how to get it. Enjoy. Now, this general reading for you, Pisces, is not any specific week or month. When you see this video might be the time that you need answers in regards to what this reading is about. And this general reading might not resonate with some Pisces at this time, but it might in the future. But the best way to get an accurate reading and be able to ask a particular question from the Karma Cards is to click on my website link below. And I do offer this type of reading as a Karma Card reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help support my channel if you haven't already. Please join me for my daily readings or check out my channel for other tarot card readings available. Love and abundance to my Pisces family.